Blowing off steam, understanding this expressive English phrase. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, to blow off steam. This phrase is widely used in everyday conversations, and understanding it can really help you sound more like a native speaker. So, let's explore what it means, how to use it, and some examples to help you master it. The phrase, to blow off steam, originates from a mechanical concept. In old steam engines, steam builds up pressure, and to prevent an explosion, the steam is released, or blown off. This is a great metaphor for human emotions. When people blow off steam, they are releasing emotional pressure or stress, it's usually done through activities or behaviors that help them relax or vent their feelings. To blow off steam is typically used in informal settings. It's a great phrase to use when talking about dealing with stress or frustration. For example, you might say, after a long week at work, I need to blow off steam by going for a run. It's important to note that the activities people do to blow off steam are usually healthy and harmless, like exercising, pursuing hobbies, or spending time with friends. Let's look at some examples to see how this phrase is used in real-life conversations. 1. I was so frustrated with my job, I went to the gym to blow off steam. Here. The speaker is using physical exercise as a way to release their frustration. 2. She likes to paint to blow off steam. In this example, the person uses a creative outlet to manage stress. 3. We all need to blow off steam sometimes, it's healthy. This statement emphasizes that it's normal and beneficial to find ways to release emotional tension. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, to blow off steam, confidently in your conversations. Remember, it's all about expressing the idea of releasing stress or emotional pressure in a safe and often enjoyable way. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English. See you in the next video.